The Revolve is another essential tool in your arsenal for 3D design. The Revolve command can be found right next to the Extrude icon on the toolbar. In the pop-up, I can choose whether I'd like to create the Revolve as a solid or a surface. I'll choose Solid. Next, I can select any sketch profiles, faces, or edges that I'd like to revolve. I'll select this sketch profile I prepared ahead of time. To select the revolve axis, I can activate the selection field. And as a side note, you can always tell which field is active by the blue highlight. The axis can, of course, be any model edge, line segment, or a center line, like I have in this case. As soon as I click it, the preview appears. The default option here is full meaning a full 360 degree revolution, but I can set this to one direction with a specified value. With this option enabled, I can also use the flip direction arrow or use the icon in the graphics area to drag it manually. Symmetric will split the revolve evenly about the sketch plane and two directions provides independent control of the revolve on either side of the sketch plane. I'll set it back to full, and before clicking OK, I want to pay attention to the options above. I would like this feature to result in a new part being added here in the Parts Studio, rather than merging with the existing geometry. So, to do this, I'll use the New option, and right away you can see the preview appears in a different color as a visual indicator that it will be its own part. When I click OK, the revolve is complete and listed in the feature list, as well as in the parts list. It never hurts to rename any features or parts to make them easy to identify later.